happy people. Hope your day is going awesome. I hope you are warmer where you are than where we are. Although it has warmed up though. It is, uh, what is it? Yeah, look at that. Almost 20 below right on the dot. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, why do we live here? <laughs> like we forget and then you cold comes in. Anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Big shout out to all the new folks that have joined our channel. So welcome, I want you to feel like you're part of the family. And if you don't know what it is that our channel does, uh, I don't know half the time either, but uh, my name's Bert, my wife is Jessica, and we are Family Five. We live in North Pole, Alaska, pretty close to the middle of the state, and we just share our experiences of what it's like living here. A lot of, like a lot of the videos and a lot of the movies, you show Alaska and, you know, you're trying to live off the land and you're living off grid and, you know, you're bringing your dog sled teams to try to, you can live that way and there i know a lot of people and i have a whole lot of respect for those that do that are living off grid off the land in the middle of the wilderness much respect to those folks here but for the most of us alaskans we live in homes and we you know we go to walmart or fred meyer from costco for food and uh, we just deal with a lot colder temperatures like we have today regardless regardless of where you live in alaska one common denominator for alaska is heat and trying to stay warm. So we had some issues roll up today. We do have a duplex that ran out of heat yesterday. Got down to 60 degrees in the house. Uh, they set the thermostat to 70 and that we didn't know about it for a while because we have radiant floor heat. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about that later, like types of heating that we have here, but I need to go fix this heat, make sure it's running. We had some fuel delivered. We thought it ran out of fuel, but I think it was just the fuel filter was clogged. So I'm gonna go check on that. We had our fuel delivered today. Good and bad thing, right? You don't want to run out of heating fuel, but then there's the cost that goes with it. And then, of course, we know we augment with wood. We don't heat 100% with wood. We just we try to let it run most of the time when we can, uh, and it just helps on our on our heating bills. But anyway, hope you guys are doing great. If you're new here, welcome, and let's get started with the day. get it cleaned out and now uh, now we have heat so that's a plus <laughs> also had a pressure tank go out so that just got replaced the heat and water <laughs> we've told you that two most important things in Alaska and then we have heat and water issues literally in the same day roll with the punches okay heat and water looks like is good here it looks like they had to take some drywall out though to be able to get the new tank in that's pretty nice it has radiant floor heat and Right now we're putting in 120 degrees into the floor, or just shy, 110 right there, 110. Toasty toes, you don't want it so hot that you get burned, but you want it warm enough that it'll keep your house warm, and uh, and then it's funny, if you have a, a hot spot in the floor and you have a dog, the dog will always find that hot spot. So, all right, crisis is averted here. I'll probably probably send you guys back home, check on the family, and see how they're doing. Without a coat. Me. Hey, I'm doing a booster again. The leather is my turn. Oh, take off. Get that booster out of here. I really am big. Yeah, you're way too big. My yeah, way too big. Way too big for boosters. <laughs> um. Anyway, it's super cold out. Oh my goodness, it is eight below right now. Feels way colder. Oh, the passenger door is still jarred. Oh no. You're gonna have to slam that. I think there's ice in it. Okay, I'm gonna slam it. Here we go. Oh gosh. Got it. All right. Got it. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, don't slip. 
Hop in. Do you have a mask? Um, I think I have. I have mine. Oh, here. Here's one. Oh. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So we are on our way to the post office. Fun, fun thing. Okay. You guys know we have an up and coming launch that is coming November 21st. Set your calendars. Just kidding. No more plugging. <laughs> we are going to go to our post office people because they help and are so kind. Our North Pole post office people are awesome. They are, they are above and beyond. They help me. I even have one of them, their cell phone numbers so I can ask questions and just been great. So. I reached out to a local business here, so any of my Alaskan friends, um, Whisk Takers, how cute is that name? Whisk Takers, I love that. She is a local business here, and she does custom cookies. Look at these cookies. Look at this. A thank you, it's got the postal. It has a, an envelope. It has a stamp. Their truck. And I think this one's my favorite. Which one is it's it? a flat rate priority mail box. Oh my word. You should write a thank you note. Oh, do you want me to go inside and get a piece of paper and a pencil? No, I need an actual card. Do we have a card? We, oh yeah, we have a thank you one. Where? In my bottom drawer in my um, desk. Oh, that's right. I'll be Remember right the one that says pencil? thank Pen? Oh, a pen? Okay. Oh, I have a marker. I have a marker. Okay, I'm good. I'll it up. Just the thank you note. Okay. Be back. Okay. Back. All right. But so stinking cute. So I'm gonna put her. Just I'm gonna put her. Like I paid for these. I didn't. I didn't like. Hey, make me some cookies. Um. So I promote her. But I just I went on and found her on Instagram. I'll put everything down in the description if you guys. She is booked out. She said she was already booked out to the end of this year, and she just kind of snuck me in because she really liked the idea of doing a thank you for the postal workers. So I'm very excited. So we're just gonna go drop those off to them because they're great people and they help me out so much. And I wanna make sure that they know, oh my gosh, Becky. I wanna make sure they know they're appreciated because I couldn't do what I do as easily without some awesome people to be able to help me out. Here we go. She's got me a card. I'm gonna write on it. Thank you very much, Juan. Perfect. Well, that's right. I did and just I buy a whole bunch of those. new thank you cards. All right, so I'm gonna fill this out real quick. <laughs> and then we're gonna head to the post office. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I didn't, we didn't film in there because we didn't want to be awkward <laughs> And there was a huge amount of people But we dropped off their cookies I hope they love them I really want to get a picture with them and, and put them on uh, the old gram because they're just, they're just, they're good people. They're awesome. They're fun people. But what we're going to do now is I completely forgot. Uh, I needed to take this in and go get this weighed. This is our ornament. And guys, you're not going to believe what they want to charge me to send a little tiny ornament to you all in Canada and the UK and Australia. I'm going to try my best to get this cheaper, but I'm going to go find out what they say, things like that. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we'll head back on home. Let's check in on Bert, seeing how he's doing, and we'll see you guys back at home. <laughs> Keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Come on! Come on! Welcome to my fort There's everything This is our secret fort So we usually hide in it And we can do secret stuff When parents don't know What? <laughs> Evelyn made a cake. Yeah, on her first attempt. First attempt. It's pretty good. Frosting's homemade. 
<laughs> yes, it is. It's a little, it's a little um, sweet. Mm -hmm. She couldn't quite balance that. She couldn't quite find it. But I literally what? have sprinkles boy. on my entire, can you see them? No, boy, on the, boy, that's all over my countertop. All right. I'm working on all things Alaskan apparel, guys. We're in launch week, okay? I, I don't if, even have a garage, okay? Sorry about it. I got, I got no vehicles. Our vehicles are outside. I'm sorry the about it. The ranger is outside. I can't bring firewood in. I have to carry you know, it in. The happy peoples are more important. That's true. <laughs> I'm working on all things Alaskan apparel, and I know, guys, uh, that I went pretty lengthy last video about Alaskan apparel. Uh, just because of just talking about all of the different products that we're releasing. That is not a normal thing across this channel. I hope you guys know that. Uh, we're not like, well, I hope we're not like pushy, selly people. We're not necessarily like sell things, right? We just do this. We only do this a few times a year. So if it's not your thing, don't worry. It won't be here for very long. But it is something that we're going through right now and we are, the deadline is coming. I just got all of my product pictures thanks to my amazing photographer, Riley Nicole Photography. Oh my goodness gracious. She literally busted these out. I took product pictures Sunday. Today is Tuesday and they're done. And she's already got the other, she already did another set for me. Phenomenal. I'm gonna put her link in the description because it was great. Yeah, so um, as my husband said, there is no garage for him. Hello? What's going on? Do you want a piece of gum? Yeah. Is that what that means? It's my piece of gum now. You can have a piece of gum. Okay. Oh. Hey. What do we got today? What do we get? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Tell him how much it is. Oh, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked. You haven't looked at it? It's been three months. Is the last I just went and looked. It's been three months since we were topped off. Mm. <laughs> three months. What's your guess? Um, three months, eight hundred and fifty bucks. Nine hundred and ninety-nine fifty. Oh. Nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars and fifty-seven cents. So pretty much a thousand bucks. Heating field now. Two forty-two. Four hundred and almost four hundred eleven gallons. Ooh, it went up. $2.42 a gallon. I think it went up. You also got a surcharge of three ninety in there. $3.90. Yeah, it gets whatever. Delivered, auto pay. Oh yeah, and then, and then one of ours, we thought we ran out of fuel, but it was just a fuel filter. Oh, that's uh -huh. good. Okay, so that's for three months. Do you think that's good? Good? <laughs> good is relative. And, and we've been running the wood stove, what, maybe 70% of the time? We could amp that up. We could amp that up more. Yeah. So that's a good time. Love, love the S. Love it. Good time of year, but you know what? It's got to do. But that's why we tried to offset with the cost of our, or with our wood. And we try to be diligent about stocking that up in the summertime. And on website stuff. Okay, can I be, talk to them about be, eating stuff? Yeah. Be, uh, I did pull down the website. So if you guys head over there, you will see that it'll just be like a um, launching type of a thing. So like... Uh, we're going to be open November 21st. You can't really go onto our website, and you don't need you don't need a password. You do, Garrett, say you don't need a password. You need you don't need a password. <laughs> you don't need a password to get onto our website. Um, golly, because um, that's just for us to enter it on our end. So you don't need that. So don't worry about that. But it will go. That page will go away when we go live. Another fun fact. If you are in Canada, UK, Australia, this is hard to do. I'm helping. <laughs> if you guys are in those, if you guys are in those locations, to buy a Christmas ornament from us is going to be ridiculous in shipping. I'm just going to be upfront with you on that. I have tried the lowest possible rate. Things have skyrocketed to get things internationally for literally one point two ounce package. It'd be a lot. So if you are interested in maybe like if you want to just if you buy like a hoodie and like an ornament, we're just gonna we're just tucking that ornament right in with that hoodie so it just all goes together and it's not quite I mean it's still expensive, don't get me wrong. It's still expensive to ship anything international from here. No, I'm trying to do the cheapest, cheapest of the cheapest. I think we're gonna try to ship a lot of things first class uh this go around so just bear with us. I want to talk to you about heating stuff, yeah. Talk to them about heating stuff. Talk to them all about the heating stuff. It costs an arm and a leg. It's gonna cost Co an arm It costs and a, leg. a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay, if, if you're at a place that has natural gas, consider yourself a lucky, because we do not have that here. We have heating oil. 
which is why it costs so much. I know I've told you this before in previous vlogs, but we get a lot of new people here. Heating here in Alaska, guys. It's all about heating, trying to keep your costs down, obviously well insulated homes, all these things. But as far as uh, the styles of heating here in Alaska, obviously some people heat with only wood. In my experience have boilers. Uh, forced air heating is still here, but it's not that prevalent. Uh, Anchorage has a lot more, you know, where you have like one thermostat, it'll run your whole house. You have all your vents with your heating and your air conditioning all combined. Not so much here, lost a lot of the newer construction. What they have is radiant floor heat. Floor gets nice and warm, right? You guys like radiant floor heat? Yes. Yeah. But but you still like the fire. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's where we go when we're freezing. When we're doing <laughs> school, we just go down here for a few minutes and we're like, all right, back to school. You have your radiant floor is kind of more of the efficient, uh, modern way of heating up here in Alaska. Like I said, forced air does still happen. It's pretty rare, like your furnaces. And then uh, also baseboard. Some of the slightly older homes, uh, or even some of the new homes, will have baseboard. It'll be heating registers. It'll go like right here, usually underneath your windows. And you'll kind of hear it kind of tink, 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 tink. Well, hot water baseboard is pretty standard here. It's four types of heating, right? So you have your wood, you have your radiant floor, you have your baseboard, hot water baseboard, and you have your forced air. And I would say probably the direction that most of the modern heating goes here is more on the radiant floor where your, your feet are nice and warm. Because when it's cold outside, it's just nice to have warm feet. You know what I'm saying? Very uh, comfy, cozy feeling. Anyway, let me know where you are. Like, what is your uh, style of heating? I would like to know that. I always like to check in with you guys because, I mean, you guys are all over the world and you guys have another experience maybe of, of how your heating systems work. Um, so for us, we have radiant floor. I have 12 thermostats. Why do I have 12? Because I have an HVAC control company. 12 of these little beasts spread all around the house, uh, especially with, the, with this, uh, this wood stove. Now this is a wood stove that looks like a fireplace. And the cool thing is, is I have two air ducts tied to fans and that kind of just blows around the house here, like right back here. This air is probably about a hundred and, well, I can't touch this metal. So it's probably 150 degrees or so blowing right out here. And then also I have six inch ductwork that runs under, like when the kids are downstairs playing, it runs all the way to the other end of the house because we have a ranch home, except for the, the bonus room with the school area up here. And it blows, again, about 150 degree air comes and blows right out here. Super happy and grateful that we put that in and we built this house. Just because that, uh, it really saves on energy, even though $1,000 for three months. I'm gonna guess, we'll, we'll get the next one about 30 days. It'll cost about, I'm just gonna guess right now, $500. Get another $500 bill here in December. We will check that. It'll probably be during Vlogmas. Hope you guys are doing great and awesome. Appreciate you guys coming along and uh, just being a part and hanging. And well, that, we're probably gonna call it a night. So I'm trying to get some stuff put together here. I gotta go on a road trip. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me. Uh, to go do that. Hey, on a serious note, before I let you guys go, uh, some of you guys are some pretty hardcore prayer warriors. She have a prayer request for Alice in Kentucky. Alice is about 90 years old and she's struggling with COVID right now. I had one of the happy peoples, her daughter Amy called me today uh, in tears because she just, she didn't, doesn't know what to do. What do you do? So when you don't know what to do, uh, you pray and you trust in the Lord for these things, right? So if you guys are, if there's any praying people out there, and I know there are, if you're comfortable praying for Alice in Kentucky, it would be much appreciated. So with that, I'm going to wrap this one up and we'll send you to the kids for a closeout. I think it's just Garrett today. We'll send you to Garrett for a closeout. So take it away, buddy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Uh, uh. Whoa.